Hello and welcome. We're here today at Navy League Sea Air Space 2024 with Leonardo DRS's Ed Thaxton. Thanks, Ed, for joining us today. Great to be here. We're going to be talking uh, briefly about the work that Leonardo DRS is doing to electrify fleets around the world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, first question is that Navy opinions and views of electrification are evolving, and I'm wondering what is it about Leonardo DRS capabilities that are most attractive to navies? Well, what's uh, happened recently, uh, and I mean recently over the last decade, is maturity of the technology. Uh, we've been part of uh, electrification, electric power distribution for since the 1900s as part of the companies that are made up, uh, that DRS acquired and made up DRS naval power systems now. Uh, so we've been in electrification for a very long time, but it's been relatively uh, simple equipment. So now with technology, uh, power distribution, power conversion to the to suit the requirements of radars, mm -hmm. uh, propulsion, directed mm -hmm. energy weapon, hotel loads, amenities, any type of power distribution have matured to the point where we can do things like we can do with computers, except now we can do them with with big right. power equipment. Right. Uh, and that's enabled that uh, technology has enabled features that were not possible previously, and the maturity of that technology has allowed the Navy to begin to consider adopting it into capital ships mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to just sure. R&D project programs. Sure, uh, good stuff. So then let's talk about how these capabilities will be used uh, in future conflicts, all domain operations, joint all domain command and control. So you talked about the development of the technologies, how are they going to be used going forward? Well, the directed energy is a key and larger radars are also key. Those two. Uh, those two loads uh, mm -hmm. consume a lot of power. Uh, the DDG-51 Flight 3 uh, has a much larger power system specifically mm -hmm. for the larger radar, the SPY-6, right. that's in that platform to mm -hmm. allow it to illuminate targets. Directed energy is another area. Right now we're in the, in the Gulf. Uh, we're being, we're being attacked by drones and we're shooting drones down with expensive missiles, uh, right. each drone. A directed energy weapon would change that calculus from a expensive missile to getting rid of an inexpensive drone to a, 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 fra a few pennies of power to get right. rid of that expensive drone. That's a place that's going to make a serious transition for the Navy. Mm, interesting. And that additional power is, uh, uses exactly the type of mature technology that we're talking about here that's mm -hmm. matured over the last decade. Sure. Excellent. Uh, good stuff. Um, Last question, uh, Leonardo DRS is obviously a world leader in electrification. What are one or two things that decision makers should know about your capabilities that will help them make important decisions going forward? Well, we've been following the Navy's lead for uh, what they're looking for for a roadmap for 20 years or so. The mm -hmm. Navy's published a set of, uh, of uh, documents called the Next Generation IPS. Mm -hmm. We thought we contribute to them, we also follow them and we've been making investments along those lines for a long time to mature the technology to the mm -hmm. point where it is now, where we have the Columbia class electric propulsion system that we provide to them. Right. It's fully tested uh, and, and uh, ships at once delivered. It's uh, be, you know, and beginning to be in construction. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been making investments and the Navy's asked industry to make investments. Uh, Secretary Del Toro mm -hmm. would like the Navy to make, the, the industry to make investments. We're making those investments. We're building a new facility in South Carolina that'll be capable of building these large propulsion motors, doing the full integration uh, and testing them mm -hmm. uh, in a factory, which will be unique to the United States, perhaps unique to the world, but certainly unique to the United States. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I would make the point that we've made a lot of investments over a long period of time, our internal research and development mm -hmm. to mature the technologies and so on. Um, so electric drive is, uh, and uh, electric power distribution and so on is no longer a Star Trek. It's, uh, it's now something you, mm -hmm. you, you can specify and acquire. Very good. Thank you, Ed. Appreciate your insights. And thank you for watching. Bye.